in chemo. Um, let's see, if anybody's curious about the medications that I'm on, I can talk about that too. Oh, also I'm putting cocoa butter on my um, scars from surgery. So um, we're using that as like a, um, I don't know, repair for scars and hopefully that helps. Um, let's see, medications that I'm on um, are only pretty much for pain and also blood thinners because when I was in the hospital, I had a um, deep vein thrombosis and that's a DBT, I guess you call it. Um, so I have to take a blood thinner every day to make sure. Also, they found what they thought was a um, pulmonary embolism or something, like a small blood clot in my lung, but they weren't sure if it really was um, there. Uh, let's see, that's Coumadin for my blood thinner. I have Tramadol, which I had been on for months um, from my orthopedic surgeon for muscle pain anyway, and that helps a lot. Um, I had only been taking it before when I need it, but I was um, chasing the pain, as my nurse says, instead of um, maintaining to avoid pain. So now I'm keeping up with that every six hours. It's a synthetic opiate. And then I have Lyrica, um, which is also used for arthritis, because my dad uses it. Um, but it's great for nerve pain. I guess he has nerve pain associated with his um, arthritis, and this has been the magic medicine. My shoulder doesn't hurt at all, my shoulder blade hasn't been hurting, so that's been wonderful. Um, the only thing that really hurts me is my back, just getting tired. Um, then I have two kinds of anti-nausea medicine that I can take after chemo. Um, one is a more expensive, and but as non-drowsy, which is really great, is Zofran. And it didn't seem to work on me last time, but I was also on this pain patch. Um, this a narcotic that was making me really nauseous, so hopefully this time it won't be so bad. And then there's uh, Phenergan, which uh, works great, but it knocks you out. But sometimes when you feel bad, sleeping is a great way to avoid feeling really bad, and then you sleep it off, and afterwards you feel great. I can take Motrin, I suppose like ibuprofen. Um, also, along with everything. Um, I haven't been doing my nose spray lately. Um, I have an allergy uh, decongestant nose spray, but it, um, one of the side effects is nosebleed, so I'm waiting to see if I can get my nose better before I do that. Um, and then if I have really bad pain, I have hydrocodone with Tylenol, but I'm only using it when I need it, and I've not had to use it since right after my chemo, so that's great. Um, Oh, I, wait, I got hydrocodone later on um, when I was having really bad pain, actually, um, about a week ago, I guess. And then I took, take Colace because um, as your cells uh, don't replicate, your fast-growing cells don't replicate, you have problems with the digestion, with um, abdominal pain and cramping. So uh, sometimes um, that helps move things along. And also you want to take lots of fiber, um, non-soluble fiber with your diet, so things will pass through more easily and keep everything moving, <laughs> which is kind of embarrassing to talk about, but um, whatever works. Um, I might show my scars later, just briefly to show you where the laparoscopy was, but they're healing nicely. Um, there used to be a hole where my chest tube was when they removed it. It was healing from the outside in and now it's turning more into a slit, like a, where they, um, the knife went, it's turning more into a rectangle. So hopefully eventually it'll just be a line. So I'm healing nicely and it, I thought I was gonna have a big hole like keloid and it's much better than I thought. So that's good. Um, I wanted to correct one thing I said um, in one of my other videos was um, MD Anderson in Houston. Um, they are seeing a case a week of the type of cancer in my situation um, now, and I said once a month before, so I wanted to correct that. And um, they see a lot of people, so once a week might sound like a lot, but it's still extremely rare. So um, um, for my type of adenoid, uh, adenocarcinoma. So anyway, um, I guess that's it for tonight. Um, hope my hair 
will hang in there for a couple more days and so I can have fun with the pink so because I love it and um, I guess that's it I really appreciate everybody's messages and comments and everything and come back again I hope this video is not too long and um, sorry it's not very funny or quirky or whatever I'm kind of boring and uh, serious but maybe we'll make a funny video later maybe some friends can help me out and maybe I can get some video editing software um, I don't know, uh, I wanted to, uh, say hi to Boas, I don't know how they pronounce it, but, uh, this, uh, this guy in the UK, he's really nice, and he has, um, testicular cancer, and he's going through chemo as well, so shout outs to him, and, um, you can find him in my subscription section, um, he has some really funny videos, and he's, uh, very quirky, and, um, his friends are helping and family are helping him do his videos, so that's cool. Anyway, uh, talk to you later. I love you, everybody. Ciao.